does not become a nation of onlookers. America must not remain silent. If I was to pick three words to describe the Community Coalition, it would be hope. Self-determination. Si se puede. Those words would be people. Power. Progress. Those are three words. <laughs> At the end of the day, the thing that really matters is what type of leadership is created in this process of organizing. And that is what the Community Coalition has been able to do, and that's what they stand for. I might as well get a tattoo on like my forehead that says Community Coalition or something, because I owe so much to what the Community Coalition has done for me. Training young people to be a voice uh, for their communities, I mean, I think that's what sets the community coalition apart. The leaders here brought clarity, but they also empowered us and said, you know what, you have a voice. We're gonna teach you how to organize, and we're gonna show you that you do have power. Go and spend any time with those young people. What you found out is that they have developed through these programs the capacities to feel like they can be effective in the world. And if they feel like they can be effective in the world, they know they can conquer that world by going to college, uh, by getting an education, and by themselves going out to make a difference. If it wasn't for the Community Coalition, I wouldn't be attending San Francisco State. I wouldn't be living out on my own, and I wouldn't be having these amazing experiences. All my siblings have been involved in, in the Community Coalition. This here is my assistant. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> this is my brother. I've been here in the organization since I was 13 years old. Been here, you know, like ever since. Just the fact that I can say, you know, my brother graduated from college is, I'm getting emotional, but I'm proud. Because, you know, I have a lot of older friends that they're, you know, they're brothers. You know, are in gangs, in drugs, and you know I never told him this, but you know I'm proud of you, dude, and I love you. Thank you, man. And as we were organizing, we had young members who weren't going to be able to apply for college because they had been tracked to be upholstery um, technicians. And when I went to my counselor, she kept trying to convince me to keep it for a clever in class instead of like in any kind of class that I can use to go to college. And that's Marcus McKinney. Marcus McKinney, who now works for the speaker, John Pettis. We have been hemorrhaging talent by leaving so many young African-Americans and Latinos out of the educational systems and opportunities that they need to be able to make their maximum contribution, not only to their own lives, but to the society as a whole. I was in the eighth grade when I got involved with the A through G campaign. What exactly are the A through G classes, you said? Uh, pretty much A through G classes are classes that will prepare you to go to college. Uh, for an example, some of them could be art, English, um, history. The graduation requirements for the LAUSD were not the A through G requirements. So you could graduate from high school, apply to a college, and then get a letter back that says, sorry, you're not eligible because you missed foreign language class or math class. If you looked at schools in more affluent, more white, uh, communities, you found that many more of the classes qualified for A through G. When you came to South LA and you looked at our schools, you found that that wasn't the case. There were demonstrations, of course, getting out there and going to the district and, and making noise. What we thought would be a short fight turned into a five-year fight, uh, dozens of rallies. The campaign culminates in a standoff uh, between thousands of students and parents and families and the school board. It's a really kind of profound experience because I went from being really intimidated by my peers to teaching other people and recruiting people and then going out and talking to different people from the district. My name is Jesse Fernandez, Ms. Kornstein. I support A through G. We knew if we got enough people to show up that the news media would not avoid us and that anybody who wanted to say uh, that it was okay for kids to go to school every day and not be able to go on to college would have to do so in public. They'd have to do so in the press so that the world could see it. And they'd have to look our kids in the eyes and do it. So I remember that it was six to one in favor of A through G. <laughs> that victory was massive. It proved to me that I had the power to make something happen. Um, that we had the power to make something happen together. That's what the Community Coalition probably does better than any organization we know is understanding how to connect grassroots engagement and civic engagement into the halls of power. From that day going forward, uh, young people and that board uh, made college prep courses in LAUSD a civil right. You build a sense of, of a family 
in, in this organization. I think there's one word that describes community coalition. The word is awesome. You know, there's that saying, si se puede, like, yes, we can. Like, yes, we can. Yes, we can. We are community, community coalition. 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 <laughs>